we had the two presentations at the AAN, two poster presentations. Um, one was uh, about an initial trial uh, that was about uh, comparing the use of this medication uh, in patients when they're having, around the time they're having a seizure and in between seizures. Another was an open label trial to use this medication uh, when uh, in, in really practical everyday use, so an open label safety study. Um, so that's a broad overview of our two presentations. Uh, just in general, I can tell, uh, tell you about Valtoco. Uh, it is a intranasal diazepam preparation. Uh, and really, for us in epilepsy, uh, we have patients that have cluster seizures or acute repetitive seizures. This is an entity that's been known for quite some time. Uh, and so being able to have a medication that people can use in a, an acute or kind of semi-acute fashion is a real help. So uh, many of the patients that we have now um, that, uh, that come in, especially for us at a referral center, uh, probably 20 to 30 percent of everybody we see uh, has refractory seizures, meaning that the baseline medications don't work. So in that situation, using these medications can be a major help. So, and especially uh, when people take the everyday medications, so medications every day for seizures, uh, there's associated side effects and issues with compliance and other things. So uh, to have that added, um, you know, added treatment. So it's something when people really use it when they need it. So the side effects as much in between the seizures aren't as much of an issue. They're able to give this medication really kind of give an extra boost when they need it. Uh, so that's the overlying um, kind of goal for the use of this medication. Um, we have had a medication that's been used for quite some time, um, <clears throat> which is rectal diazepam, or diastat is a brand name. Um, this medication has been shown to be efficacious, but uh, the, route the route of administration isn't ideal, uh, and so the idea to have this as a nasal spray is, uh, is a real help. Um, I guess the last thing I'd just say about Valtoco, as it's come out, there have been some previous studies. They've done some really nice phase one trials uh, to look at its bioavailability, so how well it's absorbed, and um, you know, is it, can it be delivered by a, a nasal route uh, you know, well? And uh, that's been shown to be uh, equivalent to diastat in, in previous trials for, for that use. Um, one thing that's really great about it, it comes with uh, uh, an agent that aids absorption. So there's um, uh, an agent called a uh, brand name of Intravail, which, is, um, which allows the bioavailability to reach about 95%, whereas without that agent, it, the diazepam isn't that well absorbed consistently through a, a nasal application route. So um, that's kind of the background with it, is that it's a new preparation. It, um, uh, you know, these two studies were really to look at, as I mentioned a little bit before, uh, the idea about using it in patients that are actually having seizures versus in between seizures. And then um, also just everyday use, so just a um, safety use uh, of a pretty, uh, uh, you know, pretty uh, open, open label trial um, with uh, indications where uh, we thought patients would uh, need to use it at least once a month. Um, and it was given to them to use just really pretty much like we'd use in everyday practice.